Okay, well, I don't know how well this audio is going to come across because I lost a little foam windsock that was on my drift mic. It just flew off one of the evenings when I was riding and I uh, can't find it, so I've got to replace that with something else. But in the meantime, I've taken my mic and I've just shoved it underneath my cheek pad. So, so what's happening right now, it's Saturday morning. The weather doesn't look really good. I'm actually on my way to Savage because the uh, control unit, the suspension control unit for my bike is in and we're going to replace it. Uh, let's just see, yeah, got the rear, I got the compression error, rear compressed right now. What a gloomy, dreary Saturday morning. I want to just have a little bit of a caveat here in that unlike a lot of uh, people who take a lot of time and effort to manually tweak their suspension settings, I've not done so. I've lived with the uh, Ducati the entire time on stock uh, suspension settings. But the bike does have considerable nose dive when uh, you do some hard braking. That's probably the, the thing I like the least about the stock suspension setup. And everything I've read online says that once you uh, install the Olin's suspension control unit upgrade, it uh, should make the new stock settings a lot, a lot better. Oh, I just got a bug on my helmet. I was told to be at the dealership by 9.15. It's 9.11 right now. I'm going to be late, but I, I can't pass up the opportunity early in the morning to ride the back roads here. Alright, we're almost at Savage now. One thing I forgot to mention, if I do make this video, I'm going to put a picture of the um, printout from when the dealer plugged the bike into the computer and show you guys all the fault codes that came up for the original uh, suspension unit. Alright, here we are. Hopefully the... So I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna do the installation. And then if there are any uh, codes that need to be cleared off the the dash, I'll, I'll come back and get them done. Alright, so next time will be me installing this thing.
So at this point everything has been very simple and self-explanatory, but here is the hardest part. When you turn the ignition on, you're gonna hear the preload adjustment set itself. As you can see from the camera here, you can see the bike is actually moving up and down. And after that, you have to turn the traction control back on and you have to set your clock and I believe the pin is not affected at all and now the most difficult part of the entire process is having to go through each and every riding mode and then going into the compression and rebound settings and putting them all to one which then lets the new control unit uh, take effect. If you have any other setting other than one, um, the new SCU will not um, control that particular riding mode. So this really just took the longest time and gave me a bit of a sore thumb. I believe that's uh, four riding modes and you've got compression and rebound for front and rear so that was like um, 16 different uh, menus you had to go through and don't forget to set the memory and uh, you can leave the preload to the factory setting so so we've installed everything Put everything back together spent a good oh must have taken close to half an hour just to changing all the uh, suspension compression and rebound settings to one thereby supposedly act supposedly activating the Olin's unit to take over anyway we're gonna head out into the shit weather and the only reason why I'm doing that is because I have to test this and also, uh, if there's anything wrong, I need to bring it to the dealership. And the dealership is only open today and tomorrow is Sunday and it will be closed. Uh, the heat pump's coming on. Can't really hear, but I do hear the suspension working. All right. Errors, device, DES. Yeah, looks like we need to go and get the fault codes um, erased. What a crappy day. the dealership again and uh, all the codes have been reset so no fault code showing up on the dash right now we'll see how it goes over the next uh, week or so how uh, she feels I would have loved to take the bike out and do the twisties uh, right after but as you can tell the weather isn't exactly conducive for any kind of spirited riding so we're just going to take her home I'm going to get out of my wet thing and chill for the rest of the uh, Saturday afternoon the most immediate difference I can feel just based on this, this riding in the highway and going to from the dealership and home is the the front end dive is 
remarkably controlled under heavy braking. Uh, the front end dive is is not really there. Like you can feel the ports compress, but that's none of that uh, pogo feel that normally comes with it. Yeah, I'll probably end up doing a smartphone vlog update after I've ridden the bike for a while. After I've gone back to Vancouver and I've had all my bags on and hopefully when the weather gets better I can take her out to some of the twisties on the lower mainland. That'll be fun. My jeans are all wet now. Whoop! Stupid Asian kid! Shiny BMW, don't you go either. Oh, they're all out to kill me today. We're home. Let's get some dry clothes. rain.